Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another one of these decluttering videos. I cannot believe that in the last year, the last probably six months or so, I have decluttered over 500 pieces of crap out of my house. I, I don't understand it. I, d I just don't understand it. I can't fathom how all of that stuff was lurking in my house. Now I will say it started to get quite difficult by this point. Before this, it was easy. I'm like, I'll just help Grant clear out his closet. Like I have no emotional attachment to his clothes or I'll go and clear out the bathroom cabinet because there's hairbrushes that I don't use. Like that's easy. And now I've started to get to things that I do use occasionally or I do quite like and it's bit harder to get rid of them so I wanted to share a tip with you that's been really really helpful to me this may not be helpful if you are superstitious at all but I have found it so so helpful to kind of say to myself now if the house burnt down and we lost everything and the insurance has paid out and we are going and replacing items in our home would I replace this item would I actually go and seek out this item and buy it again to put it back into my home or if I was out shopping and I found this item and it happened to cross my path, would I actually buy it and put it back in my home? And if the answer is no, then why do I want it in my home now? So if you're superstitious, you probably don't want to be walking around thinking about your house burning down all of the time. But I find it really, really helpful. When you get down to the nitty gritty, if you were building your life from scratch, what would you choose to have in it? Most of your things can probably go and it's, it's been so freeing that now I've finally started to develop empty shelves here and there and empty drawers and or like spaces in a drawer and it feels amazing and it's also got me thinking like there are items that yes I use once or twice a year and I'm very happy to use it once or twice a year but I'm even happier every single day to see that empty space where that item was very few things are irreplaceable and it also helps to just remember if I really miss this item I can go and repurchase it if I want to but I have not missed a single thing out of all of these videos I've done five now of decluttering 100 things and I have not missed a single thing that I have got rid of like not one I could probably go and re-watch them and think oh yeah what about that what about that but I've actually forgotten about pretty much everything I've decluttered it is so freeing I hope this video or these videos help and inspire you to get rid of stuff in your home because it feels amazing I will link the videos down below I've made a playlist now to put them all into just the 100 things declutter videos you probably don't want to go and watch all the 500 things I've got rid of in my home but I don't know they're there all together anyway so here's the next batch of crap that I got rid of out of my house Daniel actually really liked these but no we won't wear them same with these even though he had a smaller pair exactly the same as these that he's outgrown he doesn't want to wear these here are the ones that he has outgrown and an identical pair in beige. I haven't worn this skirt in years so this can go. Same for this corduroy jacket, I just haven't worn it in years. Here's a raincoat that both of my boys have at Grun. Some old socks that we don't wear. A pair of shorts that Grant doesn't wear because they fit really funny, they go like really boofy in the front and they do the same on Daniel so no point keeping these. Ripped and stained, these can go. He has other work shorts. Some board shorts that neither Grant nor Daniel will wear. An old stretched out and faded t-shirt of Grant's. Grant's had these thermal leggings things since his UK policing days. It's supposed to go under the riot gear and he hasn't worn it in the last six years so why are we holding on to it? Another faded worn out t-shirt. This is a winter pyjama top that Grant cut the sleeves off to make it into a summer pyjama top and then decided he doesn't like the fit of it. Worn out and also stained. Ditto. Worn out and faded and it also has a hole. Can you tell we're having a clear out of Grant's closet? This is also a bit stretched and faded. Ditto. An old fleece that Grant doesn't wear anymore. This shirt is too big. He wore this jacket a lot but unfortunately the zip has broken. Some suit pants that are oh, kind of a style that doesn't suit Grant or Daniel and they don't fit very well. This shirt has seen better days, the collar's looking a bit stained and grubby and it's got a blood spot on it and the fabric's just looking really old. 
I have this lid from an old pot that I've thrown away, so no point keeping the lid. This is the rose from the watering can that we take camping, but we never actually use the rose, so there's no point keeping it. It's just kind of big and bulky and gets in the way, and we just use the pouring spout. I have some crappy hangers that we don't need to keep because I have decent hangers. This is an old queen size sheet. Um, you can see how discolored it is, like this is actually white. This is supposed to be white. It's also not deep enough for my tall mattress, so I don't actually use it. No one needed summer pajama pants and these were the only ones I could find that weren't sold like as a set of pajamas. He has a million t-shirts, so he didn't need tops. But they're like this satin. He wasn't with me when I bought them and I brought them home and he refuses to wear them because they're satin, like seriously. And I lost the receipt, so I can't take them back. So I'm just gonna pass these on. This is my Jamberry gel UV lamp. And I was just thinking yesterday that I've got another lamp that I use and why am I keeping this? I need to pass it on to somebody. And then last night my friend Cammy came to visit and she mentioned that she wanted to get a gel lamp. So it's a match made in heaven and this is going to her. These are all of the nail polishes I still have and never ever use, I mean, they're starting to settle because it's been so long because I just used gel now. So I am passing these on to my friend Cammy. These are the color wheels that go with my nail polishes so she can have those too. This spray is from Avon. You actually have to ask for it. It's not in the um, catalog, but it is amazing for spraying on your nail polish to make it dry quicker. But obviously I don't need it if I'm using gel. I have an extra pack of these nail sample sticks. I'm never going to need that many. Like, I've got a whole nother pack like this for myself, so this can also go to Cami. I'm also passing on my Jamberry gel stuff to Cami. More crafty bits that I'm buying that can go to Cami. You can hear Cami a lot in this video because she's here and she's taking all the stuff I don't want because that's what she does. <laughs> she can also have these stickers. These are little extra Jamberry wraps and samples that obviously I don't need anymore because I'm not doing it as a business. I also don't need these buffers. Jamboree business cards and bank payment cards don't need those. These alcohol pads are all dried out. I have a billion of these little orange sticks. Well, I have the normal length ones, so I don't need the mini ones. Extra nail scissors. This is a tiny little box of French nail tip guides and I've had them for years and I've never used them. Empty Jamboree nail wrap sleeves. A whole bunch of nail files that I don't use. These are little nail prep kits that I put together as prizes and things, but obviously I don't need them and Cami will use them for gifts so she can have them. More Jamberry stuff. These were laminated promotional things I did at parties. Some Jamberry sample mega sheets. I just, I just know I won't use them. Jamberry order forms and catalogues and a bunch of little rubber cuticle pushes and I think that is the last of my nail stuff sorted out and I'm down to one big container which is very exciting. I have a bunch of these gift bags and I just I'm not going to use them up so Cammy, who is the queen of gifting can have those. Bit of a polka dot explosion there's some more gift bags that I won't use. I've had my camera for a while now I think over a year so I don't need to keep the box anymore. This shelf is something we no longer use. As you can see, it's been standing in the garage for a while. So I am going to give this to Cammy, who will make use of it. This little Santa that I made, whoops, pulled his hat off, is getting passed on to Kai because he likes it and nobody here really wants it. Mm -hmm. This is a recipe that I got from a friend, but I finally typed it up and printed it to go into my recipe file. And so I can toss this. I've talked about these drawer organizers before in a favorites video, but I have some extra dividers that I'm not using. I have kept some, which I've stashed kind of at the back there, but I don't need this many, so I'm gonna toss these. I don't need this straw which came with my cup because I use stainless steel straws. While I do use stainless steel straws, this one with a bend in it kind of annoys me and it also doesn't fit in my drawer where I store my straws, so I'm just gonna donate this one. I don't actually use this meat tenderizer if I need to flatten chicken breasts. I put them into a big Ziploc bag and bash it with a rolling pin. So I don't need to store this extra tool. This is a ham bag. You store your cooked ham in it, but I don't really use it. So I'm gonna just donate it. We have another knife sharpener that has the metal sharpening and a ceramic sharpener. So I don't need this one. 
a couple of bottles that I no longer need. I don't use this apple corer. I'm really trying to pare down so while I do use this rolling pin I have another rolling pin that would do the job and I don't really need to. I got this little egg timer at Kmart. You put it in with your boiled eggs and the color changes and then you know when they're done but it doesn't really work very well if you boil eggs that are a lot bigger or smaller than this and I find that using a normal timer works fine so I don't need to store this. We have these plastic plates, it's called Barbecue Buddy. Um, the idea is you put your condiments in there and your food on there and you can carry it with one hand and your wine glass goes in there. We don't drink wine, we don't use these plates, we've had them for ages, there's no point still hanging on to them, we clearly aren't going to use them. I found this cough mixture lurking in the pantry, there's hardly any left. I don't even know why we were keeping the dregs. This stuff is actually amazing if you need to boost your child's immune system. Noah was sick for months and months and months when he was a baby and then I discovered this and completely turned him around. However, I have had this particular bottle for a while. It expired in 2013, so I think I need to toss it. Clearing out, I found these eye drops and they expired in June 2016. This is my potato ricer. I've had it for a while. I use it maybe once every couple years and I'm just not into keeping things that I use that seldom. These were stickers I made for my planner when I had my jamberry business so I don't need those. I was clearing out my drawer and I found this packaging from my Studio L2E stamps. I do not know why I'm still keeping the packaging so I can chuck that away now. I have these bits of like non-stick or like non-skid shelf liner. They are kind of gross. I use them underneath my chopping board so they don't slide around when I'm preparing food but these are as I said kind of gross and I have more so I'm going to toss these. This little pocket mirror was in my desk drawer and I never use it. I don't know why it's even there. This little snack bag contains laminated cards for a party game for jamberry parties so obviously I don't need that anymore. I have 21 containers, these Rubbermaid containers that I'm going to let go. I know that BPA free plastic tends to go kind of orange over time but some of these are like really gross. Grant insists on microwaving food in them which I know you're not supposed to do and I'm transitioning over to glass containers and I do have other non-gross plastic containers that I can use if I need plastic so it's time for these to go. I have a Jamberry mini heater. I don't need it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Possibly sell it to a consultant or just on trade me but I just don't want it in my house anymore because I don't need it. I also have a Jamberry application kit that's brand new. I have this little power bank that I got from Kmart a while ago. It's not that great and I have a better one that I talked about in my November faves and fails I think so I'm not going to keep this one. I think it's time for this old charging cable to go. Look at the state of it. A letter opener that we just don't use. Some styluses that we just don't use. A few more emery boards. A pencil sharpener that is blunt and doesn't shave the pencils at all. A couple of bingo dabbers. I can't remember why I had these. It was for a particular project years and years ago, but we no longer need them. Some crappy erasers. Does anybody actually ever use these? Isn't this just going to make your paper black? I guess this has been used, but we have better erasers and quite a few of them, so no need to keep these. These little body parts came with a marker, I think, but the marker's dried out anyway, and clearly we don't use it since it's not even on the marker, so they can go whole bunch of pens that no longer work. These pencils have all been dropped a few too many times and the lead is broken inside so as I was sharpening them the point just kept breaking so I'm just going to chuck these. I have a couple of calculators that we are just not going to use. Why would we walk over to the cabinet, open it, open the drawer, get out the calculator when we usually have our phones on us or the calculator on the computer? A random piece of elastic that's knotted, that can go. A reflective snap bracelet that we don't use. A couple of staple removers, one of which is broken. I do have one in my bedroom for taking off labels from Save Mart. Literally, that's why I have one in my room. And then one in the stationery cupboard, so I don't need these two. A bunch of old push pins. I have a jar full of push pins, so I don't need all of these extra floating around ones as well. These rubber bands are so old that they've all started perishing and breaking, so we can't even use them. 
more old erasers and a sharpener some post-it notes that are pretty old and raggedy I do have a whole bunch of better ones I hope you enjoyed seeing all the random stuff that I'm dredging up to chuck out or donate or sell and I hope this makes you feel inspired and motivated to go and clear a bit of clutter of your own thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one